Hi y'all, so today is our first official garden tour. We're gonna do this in two parts. I'm gonna do the front and the back. So here we go, we'll start with the Potager garden. We just got this new arch. And installed it this past weekend. Now it's rained, so everything's a muddy mess. The Potager garden stays pretty muddy. Um, that's why we did raised beds over here. But over here, I planted some new dawn roses and they came, they're bare root. We will see how they do. It's pretty shady over here at this particular spot and it stays pretty wet. I tried to hill this up the best that I could so the water could drain off around the roots. We'll see. No guarantees, it's a trial. I've got all of my little um, containers set up tried to make them as orderly as possible and these is going to this is going to be the herbs I was going to do the herb garden this year it's just not going to happen too many big projects going on this year so it just has to go to next year this is my new bed four by eight four foot by eight foot that's going to be the peppers bed we don't have it made yet but we're going to do another one of these and that is going to be the tomato bed we're going to have so many herbs, I'm telling you. <laughs> I started everything inside this year, and so I have a ton of everything. We've got pineapple sage, and the, I have the, all the plants. I'm going to put them out next week. Sweet Annie, clary sage, dill. Um, we'll see what else we have as we go down. This bed is my garlic that I planted last fall or early winter. So half of it is garlic. We've got soft neck and a grocery store variety. And then we, here we have some red onion that I planted this spring. I just went in today and planted my cucumbers because I just got my cattle panel arch yesterday. And I'm so excited. I couldn't wait. So I put my cucumbers out. I have silver slicer, two of those, and then two endeavor, no, one endeavor and one Parisian pickling. So we'll see how that does. Over here in this bed is dinosaur kale. We've got one plant I bought because I couldn't wait and then my seedlings that are growing up nicely. Um, I say dill, oregano over is gonna be in this container, um, cinnamon basil in this container. And so in this raised bed, I've got onions that I planted last winter, yellow onions. I've got a row of early wonder beets, a row of golden boy beets, a row of, hmm, what is it, Haida Benny turnips, and a row of French breakfast radishes. Then over here, this is the strawberry bed. Now I did some bare root. I don't know what they're supposed to look like, honestly. I've never done them before. And this is what they look like. They've been in this bed for two weeks. There's really nothing going on, just a bunch of like dead looking sticks here. But then we have a couple Bonnie strawberry plants that I got. I really wanted my proven winner, but I just didn't get to get them yet. I'm still gonna try to put an order in for those. So this is the strawberry bed. We have over here on this side of the arch, we've got broccoli. And this is like a mix of just my cool weather crops. We've got broccoli, we've got Swiss chard, we have lettuce, and we have spinach. And then at the base there, I planted beans today. I did whoo, rattlesnake pole beans. And I forget what the other one is and I'll have to tell you in the next video. But I did one at each thing. So they'll go up the cattle panel there. This bed over here is potatoes. I've never done potatoes before, so this is kind of a experiment. Um, I did a store brand, like, you know, that was my leftovers. Then I did Yukon Gold, Gold Rush, and Red Norlin. And I only did half the bed, just because I wanted to, I wanted to see, because I I'm figure if this doesn't work out, then I still have this other half of the bed I can do something else with. Um, and this container here is Feverfew. 
Back here, we've got a container for thyme, a container for chamomile. This, look how cute this is. I don't know if I'll get fruit, but this is my bonsai bonfire patio peach. And below it, we have strawberry calendula that I grew from seed. Over here in this container is a container for rosemary and one for sage. This bed is all my carrots. We've got Spanish black, Luna white, just a random orange, two of those. I believe one's Danvers and one's just something I'm not sure. Kyoto red and I believe the other is atomic red. Yeah, atomic red and Kyoto red. So that's just all my carrots. This is just empty. I usually put something pollinator attracting in it. Probably borage. Um, here we've got, it's going to be Genevieve basil, sweet Italian basil, Panicio basil, I'm not sure. This is where the other four foot bed's going to go. This is going to be the tomato bed. And I've got probably 12 variety of tomatoes and probably 10 variety of peppers that are going to go in those beds. Over here, this is our leafy green bed. I just planted it up today. Just a mix, a scatter, so I can just, I just filled it up with baby greens and Swiss chard. Uh, parsley, regular sage, broadleaf sage. Then over here, we have thornless blackberry. I'm going to put another one here and another one on the other side. Now, this is where it gets kind of tricky because, so from this middle here, this black spot, over this half was supposed to be the herb garden, and then this half was going to be my cut flower garden. Well, I kind of changed my tune because we also want to do a pumpkin patch, and I want it somewhere for my pumpkins that I didn't have to worry about people getting into them because I do live in a neighborhood. So this is going to be the pumpkin patch. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down landscape fabric and then we're going to do the holes in the fabric for the pumpkins. So that's coming soon. This is just our chillax area. Back here we have a oak leaf hydrangea, Gatsby Moon. We've got a climbing hydrangea, second year. So I'm excited. Last year it didn't do much of anything. So this year it's really showing off so far. I heard they're really, really slow to take off. Compost bin. I did a video of us building this. <laughs> it hasn't gotten up yet, but uh, eventually, maybe someday, <laughs> it'll get put up. But it was real simple construction. These slats come out. My husband came up with this great idea because I'm always like, what am I supposed to do with the lid? Put the bungee cord on, and then he put one on the shed here, and I just hook it on. Ta-da! Trav's a genius. And so it stands up for me, and I go in, and I got my little pitchfork over here, and I go in, and it's doing really well. This compost, I started this about two months ago, so it's looking pretty good. I need to get it a little hotter. I'm struggling. I, I sent a message to Justin Rhodes, I said, I know you got your compost looking good. What do I do? So he gave me some advice. So we'll we'll see how it goes now that I'm on a better track. This area over here, I'm gonna leave mostly green because of the dogs and the grandchildren. So they have somewhere to run. And so the only thing I'm gonna do here is I'm probably gonna do around the edges here. I have a lot of sunflowers I've grown from seed, so I'm thinking maybe just lining everything with sunflowers. Maybe. We'll see. Again, everything is a work in progress. The roses for over here. <laughs> Zephyrine Duvron. Du I don't know how you say it, but they're a thornless pink. I planted them yesterday. This is my um, Rosa Sharon Blue Chiffon. And then we are at the other end. And then this, which will be in the other 
the next part video the front yard part we'll talk about but it is going to be the cut flower garden so i moved the cut flower garden here and the pumpkin patch is going to be there so that's it right now for the back of the yard not a lot going on things change rapidly with us so I might have said the sunflowers are going here and it might be something totally different because I kind of really, really like the thought of rambling roses all along this side of the fence as well as the other side because I just love looking at a white picket fence with roses falling over and just rambling among, around it. So, you know maybe this whole entire fence line on both sides of the house but this is the protege garden so far and i will give you another tour as soon as there's better things going on bye bye